Tim Sloan is the CEO of Wells Fargo. He appeared before Congress yesterday. He was there to testify about the many customer abuses his company has been caught committing, and there was plenty to be said about that, and good. But he also found himself being interrogated from a different direction by fake revolutionary Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. She says his company is somehow to blame for how the Border Patrol operates. Watch. Why was the bank involved in the caging of children and financing the caging of children to begin with? Uh, I, I don't know how to answer the, that question because we weren't. <laughs> in other words, your question is bonkers. She then went on to suggest that the CEO of Wells Fargo should be held responsible for any oil spills that occur since his bank might make loans to the companies that build oil pipelines. In fact, her fervor got so out of control that she then suggested that Wells Fargo should pay for damage caused by the Keystone XL pipeline, which Wells Fargo did not finance, and by the way, which does not exist yet. Since Wells Fargo financed the building of this pipeline in an, un and an, in an, an environmentally unstable way, uh, why shouldn't the bank be held responsible for financing the cleanup of the, of the disasters from these projects? Uh, which pipeline are you referring to? Um, either, you know. So we, we were not involved in the financing of the, X, of the XL pipeline. We were one of the 17 or 19 banks that was involved in the financing of the Dakota Access Pipeline. Melissa Francis pays attention to politics and financial markets. She co-hosts Outnumbered and After the Bell, and she's a friend of ours. She joins us tonight. Melissa, what do you, what do you make of that? Uh, first of all, proud to be on with you, my friend, tonight. But I, I watched well, this, you. and this is, so this is the newest game of gotcha. You drag someone up for a beating, and then you beat them about things that may or may not be related to their business at all. So we decided to do an exhaustive fact check of both what she said and also our interpretation of what she, we thought she was trying to say. I mean, she's talking about the caging of children, and as we look through it, I mean, he looked befuddled and, and rightly so there was one company that wells fargo was involved with that they provided financing to this company which built one detention center under president obama and they sent us so many photos of it it has no cages and it's much nicer than any school my child has ever attend or summer camp i mean from what we saw it's <laughs> lovely but there's definitely no children that are separated in any way from their families at this location, which I'm guessing was her point. But they also built the facility under President Obama, and it looked rather nice. So the premise of her question was a gotcha that seemed to have no connection to anything that you said that Wells Fargo has done that, that hasn't been great in the past. This just wasn't one of them. And on the pipeline question, you know, I mean, she, she's going down this road. She names a pipeline that doesn't exist. So you give her the benefit of the doubt, and he kind of pivots to one that does exist, that they did help finance, along with a bunch of other banks. And the premise is sort of like if you provided finance to a builder, if then the operator down the line does something bad, you are responsible. That's like saying if I kill someone in my house, you should go put in jail the mortgage broker at the bank that gave me the loan. I mean... It's so many degrees of separation. It, it just seems like there was enough to pick on. Why are, why are you pivoting to your issues and sort of beating this well, guy? So maybe, well, you're right, but you're approaching it as a smart person from a rational perspective. But maybe it's a religion and petroleum is sin and anybody who has the taint of sin must be punished. Maybe that's the way that she's looking at it. I guess. I mean, I think it's just this shortcut, easy gotcha. I mean, a lot of the different CEOs here in New York have been facing it. People coming outside, you've financed cages. And they don't really care about the facts of, well, was that, you know, a company that's in the private business, private prison business, did they really build something like that on the border? It didn't matter. It was just that they had some contract with ICE somewhere. So it's sort of this, it, it's, it's if, if you're even close to any of these things, you're immediately guilty of the worst degree. It's just I don't know. bizarre. Well, Seems Francis, very, it is always difficult. great to see you. Thank Mortgage you for doing brokers, that. Mortgage brokers, watch out. You could be in big trouble. <laughs> you could be in trouble. Good to see you. You too.